Howdy folks, I'm the Roleplay Gamer and I like to party. I would like to introduce you to the Monk. You may have noticed from the thumbnail that the Monk is, curiously enough, an Argonian. But there's more to it than that. He is a Monk, so you would perhaps expect uh, Restoration, which yes, of course he has. Uh, you might also expect uh, Unarmed, you know, just hand-to-hand -hand combat, which I considered. But the monk is not all he seems. The monk is actually a sneaky assassin. <laughs> because you've got to ask, what is he a monk of? What is he devoted to? Well, uh, the monk has traveled to Skyrim from Black Marsh. And has been blessed or cursed, <laughs> depending on your point of view, with visions of the Overlord. So, he feels he knows where the Overlord is going to return, uh, how he's going to return, and it is his job, as far as he's, he's concerned, to find the Overlord. So he's sort of become a monk uh, in a sort of twisted roundabout way through devotion to the Overlord. He's calling himself a monk, uh, but he's not Really, I mean, he can he can be a monk if he wants, you know. He he can he can worship the Overlord if he so desires. But it's not like uh, any other. I don't know. It's not like anyone else would necessarily recognize him as a monk if they knew the the truth of it. If that makes sense. So he's actually is more an assassin-y character um, with some restoration. <laughs> so we look at skills here. Uh, I've gone fairly ham into sneak. So we're uh, all the way up to Assassin's Blade, and with, I think, yeah, three points into stealth, so we should be fairly sneaky. Uh, other than that, we've just got a little bit into Restoration. It's not that much, really. So this could be a fairly interesting character. I mean, the Restoration, I feel, is just enough to get by if we have to, you know, get into some proper combat. Uh, but otherwise, go away. Okay, so you might be wondering, where is the Overlord then? If if the monk, the Argonian monk, uh, supposedly knows where the Overlord is going to turn up, you know, what is it? Where wh What has he seen in his visions? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> this is assuming I know, uh, I know vaguely where it is. Okay. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, test your knowledge of the Skyrim map here. Uh, this is assuming I've gotten the, the marker placement right. <laughs> I'm fairly sure this is more or less correct. So, it's up to you to guess or decide, if you will, uh, where the Overlord is showing up and where we are actually heading. So, without further gilding the lily and with no more ado, let's head out then, shall we? <laughs> Alrighty, this should be exciting. And when I decided to to mark this location as the you know the return of the Overlord, where it all goes down, I was like, oh shit, this could be pretty cool. <laughs> it could also all go to pot as well. So you know, either way, we're gonna have some fun. Know what I'm saying? So let's uh, let's begin the trek there. So I think. The monk is not just concerned, like, obviously his primary concern is going to be finding the Overlord, but along the way, it's probably wise for him to recruit followers, you know, it's a, it's not just a, um, a mission in the broad sense of, of uh, finding the Overlord, it's also a mission in the sense of, you know, like a religious mission of, of um, converting people and whatnot. So I don't think we're necessarily going to go out of our way to do it, but, you know, when we when we cross people. So, I've just realized this is probably not the best place to start, but it's it's makes sense for the roleplay. Um, <laughs> the reason I don't think it's the best place to start is because we sort of, we're at risk of running into bears, I think. What is that? Oh, fuck. That's a pretty big spider. Well, I'm not going to concern myself with that. Because <laughs> we're just a lonely, assassin-y monk. So let's, uh, let's stay, stay out of the big battles, if at all possible. Alright, so now I've got to be careful not to say 
the location by name? Because I, I don't know how well you guys know the map. I know for sure that there are some of you that are going to be like, what is, what is this guy smoking? Of course we know where is marked. But I, I kind of feel like there's going to be some of you that are going to be like, what? What is going on here? <laughs> so I guess we'll see. What? What's all this about? Who is this? Oh, that's like a, a mage. <laughs> All right, let's not concern ourselves with that. Ah, no. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Shit, there's bloody shitloads of activity. Well, why did... Uh, why did they attack the goat? <laughs> there's shitloads of activity going on here. All right. Fucking hell, more spiders! What, what's with all the spiders? <laughs> oh man. Skyrim's just all sorts of fucked up these days. You know, crashing aside. Um, some other fucked up shit is, is happening in the, uh, in the Dark Knight roleplay that I can't mention because I might be spoiling some things. <laughs> Alrighty, alright, I think we're good, I think we're good to go, though, we're at danger of sort of crossing, there better not be a Spriggan here, I swear to God, okay, we've just got, um, what are they, elk or something, mooses, what are they, I don't even know, <laughs> clear spring tarn, okay, acceptable, alright, hunters, what sort of hunter, like, hacks at a wild animal with a dagger? That just seems inefficient to me. Okay, well, I mean, they're a bit busy, so I'm not going to, like, interrupt them and be like, yo, have you heard the good word? The good word about the Overlord, who is, uh, bitterly evil to the core and wants to take over Skyrim? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're pretty high up, I never realised. It's quite a view if it wasn't for the shitty level of detail thing going on. Fucking hell, this is steep. Like, seriously, look look how steep that is. A regular human would not, not be able to walk up that or even down it without, like, slipping and sliding all over the place. Will you piss off, you fairy thing? This is whoever thought this was a good idea. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I know we're heading in the general right direction, but no... Leave it, thank you. Okay. We're quite a ways away. We'll get there eventually. Don't don't you worry. Um, is there any any way for us to cut? cut down? That's got to be dangerous. Um, we probably... Our best bet is probably to go down, though. So let's, let's see what we can do. But yeah, this is going to be in an interesting character. Because at first I was like, okay. It's a monk. Oh, wolves. I mean, I can take them, no problem, but I probably should be avoiding them. Um, <laughs> okay. Because at first I'm like, okay, a monk. Like, I really like the idea of a monk, but how the hell is he going to defend himself? And like I said, I was going to go with, um, with like the gloves of the pugilist or whatever they're called. That could have been interesting. Um, but then I decided, you know, why, why make it a straight up monk? Why not do something crazy? Have some fun with it, you know? Make some bad decisions. I'm really, te <laughs> I'm really tempted to, to change my, uh, my channel motto to let's make some bad decisions. Maybe I should put it to a vote or something, if anyone cares. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. Good, civilization. Golden Rock Mine. Is there something I can help you with? Hey, have you heard the good word? Uh, the Overlord cometh. In fact, you know what? I could really use some traveling companions, uh, Miss Shifty Eyes, uh, as I go to... What is happening in the distance there? Can you see that? <laughs> as I go to find our, uh, our Lord and Savior. Will you join me? Lead the way. I love it. I love it. Let's get going then. Let's do it. What is happening here? Are these... What is, what is this? Silver hand? 
Okay, <laughs> maybe I don't want to hang around, you know, if the silver hand renowned uh, werewolf hunters are uh, mixing it up in the area, I probably don't want to hang around and, and risk being uh, mauled by, uh, by a werewolf. Alright. I'm on my way from misery to happiness today, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No, I feel like maybe we need to go back to Disney. What other Disney? What other, what other good Disney? Oh, I've always wanted to, I've probably mentioned this before. I, I say this to so many people. I've always wanted to do like a, an 80s uh, hair metal rock ballad version of Can You Feel the Love Tonight. That is so good. Like, it just wants to be that sort of song, you know? It's begging for it. Oh, yeah. Like, this guy's. this guy knows what he's doing. He's not, uh, he's no scrub. Get back, get over here. Oh, now, now you show up with your fucking pickaxe. Don't make me regret my decision to actually no. <laughs> I shouldn't be surly. I shouldn't go to my default surly nature. Um, that's just how I am. Um, yes, my child. <laughs> Excellent work. Uh, not doing anything at all. Um, <laughs> the Overlord shall cleanse you in in. Brutal glory. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how he's gonna cleanse her. He'll do something. Okay. Let's uh, let's not dilly dally, my child. <laughs> uh, I don't like the the smell of this area. Not one bit. Alrighty. How far away are we now? We're kind of... We're nowhere near it. Okay. <laughs> I reckon best case scenario, we'll get there in two episodes. Absolute best case scenario. So, yeah. <laughs> let us not dilly-dally. And let's uh, let's get as many peeps on our side as possible. Will she... Uh, yeah, she will sneak with us, so that's good. Because we're going to have to do a lot of sneaking. Uh, once we get there, it's not... Uh, hospitable location, as you well know, if you n know uh, the the location I have in mind. All right, what do we got up here? Get it, get out of my way, you goat! I'll sacrifice you to something. So, speaking of sacrificing and monks and whatnot, uh... hello. Mike wishes you well. Ah, Maik, you look like a fellow man of the cloth, or the bloody cloth in my case. <laughs> uh, have you heard the good word of the Overlord? He comes to save us all from free will and, um, and not feeling pain every second of our miserable lives. Uh, I beseech you, join us and, and spread the magnificence of our evil master. Then lead on, friend. Lovely. Glad to have Ajit you aboard. will follow. What is, is... Is she pissing off now? Girl. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Do I have to, like, set something up here? Uh, I should... I should be, like, normal to have... Hang on. Menu mode, plugins, settings, maximum followers, actors to follow, number of actors that can follow the player. Six. Okay. Well, wait a second, wait a second. She should be coming with us. Get over here, hey. It's a fine day with you around. Follow me, I need your help. Lead the way. Thormia, don't test me. Okay. You both coming with me or what? Yeah, baby, we got Mike. <laughs> oh yeah, well this is a coup. <laughs> oh, that just that just makes the episode worth it right there. As far as I'm concerned. Alright, this is probably an acceptable direction, I hope. I did. This part of Skyrim is a little bit... Oh, okay, there's a giant spider there. Well, you know what? You guys can just... Holy shit, okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> One of them has become... Uh, that special kind of follower. What is happening to Mike, Mike now? It's, that's a difficult name to say, because you want to put an R in there, but there's no R. Come on, you coming with or what? What is happening with you? Get over here. What is it? 
Follow a command. Come on, no. If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Okay. Or well, I might not. Come, we will see. Come on, man. Come on. Wh who is this now? Need we something. Follow, then. What is happening? <laughs> okay. All right. We're good. Spider's gone. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what I was saying before, does the Overlord have like a patron Daedric Prince? That could be an interesting concept. Or, or does the Overlord associate and potentially... I don't feel like the Overlord necessarily worships because the Overlord might want to might wanna become as powerful as the Daedric Princes or even more so. Perhaps the, the, the Overlord's like, Daedric Prince, please... I am a Daedric King. I like that concept. Um, but yeah, does he associate with anyone in particular? Probably Molag Bal. And you know, now that I think about it, I've probably had this. I've probably said this before. And I feel like you guys have said, yeah, Molag Bal is the way to go. Um, that, that does make the most sense. But let's see if we can mix it up. Who else? Who else is appropriate? See how we go. All right. All right. What do we got here? Some sort of tower, I dare say. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Ah, but surely you have heard of the Overlord. You know, he... He has more gold than you could ever imagine. And he also has a... A mighty... Insert weapon here that we will decide on a later date. <laughs> that he will smite you with if you hinder my progress. Uh, how about 50 gold? How's that sound? Eh, fine. I can tell you aren't worth the trouble. Just get out of here before I change my mind. Ah, but, uh... But, is he gonna let me exit the... Okay. Before I go, young lady. Get on your way before I change my mind. Are you not interested in serving the Overlord? Get on your way before I change my mind. All right, clearly not. Can we, can we just like, kill? all right. The Overlord will come and deal with you at a later date. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure how I want to handle it. Like if someone refuses to join the worthy cause, do we, do, do we then have permission to like slay them? Is that, is that right? <laughs> is that right for the character or do we just let the Overlord? Do what must be done. Maybe the ladder is more appropriate. Okay. How are we going? We're actually going pretty good. So, yeah, my two episode uh, estimate was probably fairly accurate. We're, we're probably about halfway there. This is, this is pretty dope. Okay. I've got two followers. This is, this is working out for me. And for the Overlord. <laughs> He's coming. This is one step. This actually, this is a big step closer. Uh, to the Overlord returning. This is going to be good. <laughs> so I better pull my finger out and, uh, and get the, the other lieutenants uh, well underway. That is loud. That is quite loud on my ears. Are my, uh, are my followers, my, ch my children, devotees of, uh, of his evilness? You coming or what? Tormier has sh shown up somewhere. Is that, uh, is that her over there? <laughs> Looks like it might be. <laughs> Come, my child. Can she swim? That's right, cleanse yourself in the blessed waters. <laughs> For soon they shall be ablaze! And tainted with the blood of Skyrim. Oh shit, <laughs> these look like vicious creatures. Holy fuck, is he coming up on land? <laughs> Alright, well let's, uh, let's keep moving. My children. Uh, Alright, now, out of character for, for a second, I'm a little concerned because I think, I think there's like a, a saber, tiger, around here somewhere. Maybe we should make a, a pit stop here at, uh, at the shrine 
And by pit stop, I mean uh, shamelessly loot it and uh, take ungrateful advantage of its blessing. Because these shrines will soon be toppled by uh, his evilness himself. Where, where are they? Come on. They'll, they'll get here eventually. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Let's adjust that a little bit. Ah, picture perfect. Um, and check out my music at ricardoestartthere.com. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for uh, the, the newses and the informations and whatnot. Be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.